of our Student Stuck at Home videos. These are little videos hoping to help the students learn some things while they're away from school. So today I want to talk about that pesky problem we have sometimes when our bows hit the wrong string. You know what it's like, you're going along, you're playing beautifully, and all of a sudden you get that little extra chattering noise when your bow has kind of gone astray. I want to talk to you about how to easily fix that. So, I'm a private cello teacher, and one of the things I always teach my students is about the elbow elevator. So the thing you've got to imagine is that your elbow, your right elbow to be exact, your elbow is actually what directs what string you're on. So with my students, we create an elevator. We create a mall with four floors, and the elevator stops at all four floors, and we get to decide what's at our mall. We have a food court, we have clothing stores, and of course game stores. And before you roll your eyes and say, I'm not five years old, you should know that my students are middle school and high school. So we all create a mall with our elbow elevator. What I want you to do is I want you to actually just concentrate on your elbow. So you're gonna get your instrument, and let's start on the G string. You're just gonna play some nice open strings. And I want you to find that place where you're not touching any other strings. In the middle of your bow, I want you to stop. And I want you to think about where is your elbow. I want you to kind of feel it, close your eyes if you have to, and go back and forth a few times with all of your focus and concentration right there on that elbow. When you've done that some, then I want you to think about going to another string. So I'm gonna to go to the D string, and if you watch, my elbow is gonna come up. Maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. I don't have a ruler with me. But raising that elbow, puts it exactly where my arm needs to be and my bow needs to be, to be on a different string. Once you've done that, and you've played a few open strings and kind of really thought about where your elbow lives now, go back to the G string. Play some more. Now, if you'll take the time to focus on all four open strings, you will quickly learn there are four basic places your elbow goes. My elevator's on the first floor, now it's on the second, now it's on the third, and now it's on the fourth. And this works for violin and viola also. You're up here, but your elbow is the exact same way. It's gonna be on four different distinct areas to keep you cleanly playing those open strings. Now the fun part comes, so when you've gotten used to doing this and you've practiced some open strings, and even if you're a high school kid that's like making all state and you're great, Take the time to do this exercise because you would be surprised how quickly it just really cleans up some of those, some of that playing that you're doing. Once you've figured out your elbow position for all four, close your eyes. Have somebody call out the names of your open strings and test you. Because the cool thing is, you'll actually be able to skip strings with your eyes closed once your elbow learns exactly where it's supposed to go. So that's your exercise for really learning to play your strings cleanly without running into other ones. Your extra credit is to figure out what I mean when I say there's actually seven stops on your elbow elevator. Okay, maybe you don't need to figure it out, maybe I'll tell you, but we play on all four open strings, but we also play double stops. So if you're playing advanced music with really nice double stops in there, your elbow has to learn what that, where that goes and what that sounds like. Your extra, extra credit for the day is this gorgeous cello I'm playing. This was made by Marco Noli, N-O-L-L-I. He is a living maker in Cremona, Italy. You should go look up his website. He's an incredible violin and cello maker and string basses. He makes beautiful string basses. So when you're done practicing your open strings, go learn a little something about a living maker. Send him an email, tell him that the maker said hello, he's a friend of ours. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to thank your teachers for all the hard work they're pouring into you. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next Student Stuck at Home video.